All right. Um, gee, I'm not even going to waste my damn time talking about this team for long. Uh, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I thought that I thought that the Giants had a good chance at winning today because, um, of course, as we know, the 49ers are completely their their whole squad is fucked up, you know. And not to mention, their starting quarterback didn't even play today. Jimmy Garoppolo didn't play. Nick Mullen started today. Uh, you know what, dude? How the fuck? I want to know. Like, I get it's the 49ers, you know, and they have a they have a, a beast ass fucking team. They got a beast ass offensive uh, offensive minded head coach. They got a beast ass fucking defensive coordinator. But seriously, dude, how the hell? How the hell do you give it your all against the Pittsburgh Steelers week one? You give it your all last week against the Chicago Bears. And this week, you just get stomped on by a, a team who's not even playing with their actual starting quarterback. I mean, I, I'm not saying we shouldn't have lost, you know, because this, this team is bad, you know. It's bad. They're Not only are they bad, but they're, they're young as well. They're, the whole squad is young, you know. But... Like, seriously? Like, what? I don't even. What was the fucking final score? 36 to 9 or some shit like that? I don't even know. I mean, 30 something to 9. I know that for damn sure. I, I, you know, I, I don't even know where to begin with this game. Like, the first quarter, uh, first of all, I knew we were going to lose just by looking at San Francisco's first fucking drive. I mean, their fucking offense is smooth as fuck. You know what I mean? It don't look like ours, you know? It doesn't matter who their fucking running back is. You know, it doesn't matter what offensive lineman is starting or who the fuck is hurt. Their offense just naturally gels together, you know? And that's something the Giants clearly don't know how to fucking, uh... Clearly don't know how to fucking, uh, do. You know, or what to fucking do. So... Right off the bat, I can tell just by that first drive, I'm like, this team is going to get blown the fuck out, right? I'm thinking maybe maybe our, our offense can get rolling. Evan Ingram fucking fumbles the damn ball, all right? Well, technically, it went by a fumble from Daniel Jones, but it sucks that it went towards him because it's really Evan Ingram's buttery-ass fucking hands that, that, uh, that caused that fucking fumble. Um, I mean... What can I, I mean, all day, wide receivers couldn't get the fuck open, you know, Andrew Thomas looks fucking awful, you know, Cameron Fleming looks like the worst right tackle ever, this entire interior offensive line is just bad, I, I'm still not even sure what Nick Gates have done in practice for him to get the nod at center, I don't get it, you know, you got these fucking commentators, oh well, he just needs to get adjusted to the center position. How the fuck long is that going to take? Because I, I see the same motherfucker every damn week, and he looks exactly the same every week, right? So, um, that, that didn't fucking change. Will Hernandez looks fucking terrible. Kevin Zeitler's not even looking that fucking good anymore, dude. He's supposed to be our best fucking offensive lineman by far. You know, the whole offense just looks lost. Wide receivers can't get fucking open. Um, it, it, Darius Slayton, he's the only wide receiver I actually fucking know. Darius Slayton and Golden Tate. Everybody the fuck else, CJ Board and, and, and Ratley or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, like, who, who the fuck are these guys? Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but like, Dave Gellman got hired as GM. And it's like, he just said, fuck the wide receiver position. And... Like, we used to have a little fucking squad, you know, with Odell Beckham and and uh, Victor Cruz and, and Sterling Shepard. I'm not saying those guys are anything. They, I'm not saying that they, like, put up points on the board or anything. But, like, we used to pay some type of attention to our wide receiver core. That's not, that's not even the fucking case. Our number one receiver right now is a, is a fifth-round pick from last year or fifth or sixth-round pick. I can't even fucking remember. You know, I'm talking about Darius Slayton. And then you sit here and wonder. So you got you got wide receivers who can't get open. Okay, you got a you got a, a ta you got a swing tackle playing center, and you got a, a str clearly struggling left tackle. You got a bum at right tackle. You got a rookie. Uh, well, he's not a rookie anymore, but you got a second year quarterback playing in his first year in a new system. Okay, and you got a rookie head coach. 
But the least you can fucking do is get some better fucking people in here to help everyone the fuck out. Help your quarterback out. Help your head coach out. Help your offensive coordinator out. But no, you got this bum-ass motherfucker at center. You got this piece of fucking shit Cameron Fleming at right tackle. Andrew Thomas... Andrew Thomas looks terrible so far. I mean, he's a rookie left tackle. He has shown flashes of looking good, but so far he don't look that damn good. Um, I mean, Will Hernandez looks terrible. The whole offensive line just looks bad, and we're expecting Daniel Jones to have some, like, breakout season? With what fucking help, you know? Our most talented player on offense right now is Evan Ingram, and this motherfucker can't even fucking catch. He can't catch. He can't get open. He can He can never block. I mean, I, that reason alone, I would never have put him at tight end. You know? He's undersized. I, this whole team, I'm actually, I don't know if I even want to watch football, watch Giants games for the rest of the season. I mean, you see the same damn shit every fucking week. Every week. This week, it just looked bad. You know, at least the Giants tried to fight at the end of last week's game against the Bears. The Steelers, they try to fight towards the end against the against the uh, Steelers week one. I mean, this fucking week, they just... I mean, the defense clearly just look fucking confused towards the... How the hell you let a backup quarterback confuse you? I mean, just they just look lost. I'm scared to know what would have happened if the 49ers were healthy. So... Giants lose 36 to 9 or 30 something to sell, whatever the fucking score was. I don't even fucking remember. Whatever it was, it was it was a travesty. Um and I don't even know who the hell we play next week, nor do I care to be honest with you. This I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we're gonna lose every fucking game. I mean, I know I fucking say that shit every time the Giants have a losing fucking streak, especially towards the beginning of the season, because it always happens at the beginning of the season. But this, this team might literally lose every fucking game. Whatever it fucking takes to get Dave Gettleman out of the office. That's all I have to say.